I want to make sure that my granddaughters understand what radical feminism means. If you take the word radical, it really means going to the root of something. So in the case of radical feminists, the radical feminists are trying to get to the root of women's oppression. What is it that makes women with all the things we know, they get paid less, they have to work harder, they have fewer chances as they compete for jobs. So what is that that has, what radical means going to the root of women's oppression. Now, if you think radical means uh, the way that women are sometimes caricatured, i.e. as burning their, well, let's see, burning bras or, uh, or hating men or killing men or, uh, or uh, all go women all going to live on Lesbos and not letting any men be around. If you have that idea about radical, you vastly underrate the work that those women did, nor why they were called that. Just to go back a bit, I used to talk to other women and some in those days, or when I suddenly came across feminism, there were some feminists who were called environmental feminists. So you can imagine they're the ones who are worried about the environment and are out doing action on that front. Then there are the women, the equality feminists. So they're the ones who just want to make their lives equal with men. So i.e. if they do a fair day's work that they get paid the same as though a man had done the same amount of work. So lots of kinds of feminism, it would be good for you to just kind of fool around with your computer, go out there, find out what kind of feminists there are and see if you can find, because by now there's probably 20 or 30 kinds of feminists. And then you don't have to choose what you want to be, but you should look at the politics of every group. For example, the women who want to take care of the environment. Right now I'm reading Robert and Kimmerer's book on braiding sweetgrass. Now she wrote it 10 years ago, so I'm coming really late to the party. But here's a woman who argues for taking care of the environment in a way that, that I am giving her equal time with the Bible, maybe more time because I've read the Bible many times. I've only read Kimmerer once. So she's kind of going up the list of things I want to read. I think that's all I want to hear about radical feminists. And I don't know who else is gonna say that they are one, but if they are, hey, join me.